There you are, finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Joe Becker? Who's that? That's just sad. General Becker used to run the Minutemen. The last real leader we ever had. After he died, there wasn't anybody left with the guts and brains to pull things together. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? The Minutemen are the good guys again. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. That the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. Get down 
there and see if there's still a way through.
sea beast attacked the castle. Uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Uh, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. So Geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. <laughs> There's no point in getting all sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through.
This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. To admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, grab that schematic and let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate it. Got a minute? Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming. Keep the radio on and tune to the radio freedom so we can confirm we're ready.
got your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. I've got to hand it to you, General. You've really turned things around for the Minuteman. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha, <laughs> that's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers. But I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Miniman means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. My data banks are Thank <laughs> you. 